Bushcraft 412 here with a video on fire starting. Now, when you're out in the woods starting a fire, it's generally the most important thing you're going to do. And it can be the easiest thing or the hardest thing, depending on the conditions you're in. Um, I'm a firm believer in why make it difficult on yourself. Permanent fire starting methods are great. They're great to practice. They're fun to do. But I never rely on them. You know, it, sometimes even under the best of conditions, you just can't get a fire going. And let's not kid ourselves. We're, you know, we're all not experts. Bring a lighter. Bring something. So I just wanted to go over some just kind of easy ways to get a fire going. Some neat stuff that's out there. Uh, especially for the guys who are just starting out and looking for neat new ideas. And first, Bic. You can't go wrong. They're cheap. You can find them anywhere. They last a long time. Why not? Throw four or five of them in your pack. Second, the Zippo. Zippos... I have this love hate with. They're great little things. They last forever. You can get replacement parts for them. You know. But my problem with Zippos is you leave these things for a couple days, they dry up. They're not going to light on you. Uh, so you do have to have a pretty steady supply of fuel. And if you don't keep on top of them, they do wear out. Um, the great part is they are windproof for the most part. Um, great for starting fires. But. You know, the thing about the fuel, that you know, the way the fuel evaporates just kind of bothers me. I bring this camping a lot. Um, I don't really bring it backpacking. I usually don't bring it on any kind of a, a bushcraft trip just because anything more than a couple of days, you got to worry about that fuel evaporating, and I don't like that. Uh, but great item to have. You know, people have been using these forever, and you can't go wrong. Magnesium bar is next. Um, these are about five, six bucks. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Dick's. Sporting goods stores anywhere. Um, they're basically a a rod for starting the, the, uh, a flint, and then they have magnesium. You sh what the idea is, you shave the magnesium off with your knife, make a little powder of magnesium on your tinder, take your knife, rub it against, you're going to make sparks. I can't show you here because this is wood, um, and I'm doing this with one hand on the on the phone. But uh, these actually, I've made a lot of fires with this one. Uh, the magnesium burns very, very hot. And once you get those sparks and it hits the magnesium, you're going to have a fire, even if things are a little damp. Great way to start fire. It's small. It's compact. It lasts almost forever. I think I've had this one for maybe five, six years. Great little item for the money. Six bucks. No fuel. It'll work in the rain. Why not? This is more kind of your toy for people who like to play around. I like to buy a lot of silly little things here and there and play with them. This is one of the uh, blast matches. Um, my biggest complaint about this is the case it's in is kind of a cheap plastic. And I got a feeling it's going to break eventually. Uh, but the premise is you have a piston that's kind of spring loaded. And you're supposed to be able to use this one handed in case of, you know, you're hurt. Um, let me show you. Like I said, it's not the best plastic holder. There is, hopefully you can see it, a little flint attached to this and the idea is you you know like I said I can't do it because of the wood here but with one hand I, I push it in with my pinky and then you hit it and as it pushes in the the uh, piece scrapes and it's this creates a massive spark um, massive massive spark makes a fire really good anything dry this thing's going up um, I mean if you've got wet tinder you're probably not going to get a fire going um, but it's a neat little toy. It's great for one-handed starting a fire. Uh, it comes in a little plastic container, which, it's, it's the plastic container's cheap, but it still hasn't broken on me yet. And I've used this to start God knows how many fires. I, I like it as a backup. It's a nightless little thing, you know, for those days when you just don't, you know, you want the extra challenge and you don't want to use the lighter. Uh, the last is the fire steel. Plain old fire steel. I don't like the little ones. I like the bigger ones. This, as you can see, this one's quite a big one. I actually got this on eBay. I think it was like a dollar ninety nine shipped from like Hong Kong. Um, works really good. It comes with the striker, and the striker's just got an area where it's not going to show on the camera, but maybe no, not going to show. Where the paint, the green paint is off on the front here, and that's what you use to strike it with. Um, but I like this bigger size. Um, lots of times what I'll do is just clip this onto my keys on my trip. That way I have it right with my keys. 
Um, sometimes I'll just tie it onto my backpack to one of the straps. Um, so it's always handy. I hate little things like this getting buried in my pack. It seems to happen every time I go out. Something gets buried. I'm looking for it forever. So something like this. I do like this string. Um, and this is just a string it came with. I'm probably going to replace it maybe with like a, a paracord fob and a lanyard. I'm sorry, a, a carabiner. And uh, that way I can just clip it on my pack, clip it on my belt. Because having this just ready to go. When, you, when you're on the trail and you just want to stop and make a quick cup of coffee, nothing's worse than digging around, trying to find your lighter, trying to find this. And all you want is just something warm to drink. So I tend to clip these, you know, somewhere so they're readily available. The same thing with the lighter. You know, I keep lighter in my pocket. But, you know, sometimes you change pants, you change into shorts, you go swimming, you get cleaned up. You forget where you put it, it ends up in the bottom of your pack. You know, it happens all the time. You know, same thing with the Zippo. Real easy to get lost. I do have a Zippo belt case. Uh, which is actually not bad. It's like $10. It goes on your belt. Great way to keep them from getting lost. And I know they do make some cases for Bic lighters that will attach them to your keys with a little plastic piece. Um, and they do make the keychain lighters as well. You can buy online. You can get them at gas stations and stuff. But I do like the convenience of just clipping that onto a pack. Um, but I just wanted to give you some ideas. These are all great ways to start a fire. And there's a million. There's so many little gas gizmos out there to start a fire with. I mean, it's all what you're really comfortable with. Me, myself, I'll take the lighter every time. But, you know, fire is your most important thing in the woods. I don't believe in just bringing one. You should always bring two to three ways to start a fire. I don't like matches. I'm not a fan of matches. They fail. I, If I'm going out in the woods, I would typically bring like a light, you know, like a combination like that or, you know, or that you got to back that up. I mean, you should always have at least two knives, two fires. I mean, those are your most important things. And, you know, going on places like eBay, going on places like Amazon, you can find so many of these things for really cheap. You don't need to go to Walmart and spend 8 nine, ten bucks on a fire steel. Or even any place like a Gander Mountain or Cabela's. These things are 8 10 bucks. Go on eBay, buck ninety nine. You know, these on eBay, I think you can get them for 3 or $4, but in the store, they're 5 or 6 you know, the blast match was expensive. This is twenty dollars. You know, but I think it was money well spent. I've used it a lot and it's 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 more of a toy than anything. But I really do enjoy it. And it is there. It's a nice thing just for one hand of fire starting. Neat little thing to show off. Well that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video and we got more to come. Thanks for watching.